Hey y'all, it's Tammy and Chris with Colored Valley Cooks and today we have Chris's signature barbecue sauce. Now, we haven't given y'all barbecue sauce recipe in the past because we've been keeping it secret, but we've decided to let y'all in on it. Chris took it to work the other day with some pork and everybody loved it so much they were filling up cups and he couldn't even bring any back home hardly. So we're going to give you the recipe today. You have got to make the sauce. It is so easy, it is so delicious, and it will keep well. So make up a batch, and you'll definitely want to make it again. It is just amazing, y'all. Got the perfect amount of spice in it, the perfect amount of vinegar in it and sugar. So it is not a spicy sauce. It's not a real vinegary sauce. It's just right. Now, even if you think you're not interested in making barbecue sauce, you need to watch this video because it's so good. After you make it once, you'll make it again. And it's really simple. Um, we're going to start off with ketchup. It has the most in this recipe. And we put in a whole cup and a half of ketchup. I'm going to put it all in this so that you can see what I'm doing. Then we'll take it over to the eye. And I think I'm going to go ahead and turn my eye on so that it can be getting warm because electric is... Uh, not instant heat. So we're going to put in one and one half cups of ketchup. All right, we're going to put a cup and a half ketchup, and of course we use Heinz, so we're going to put this in first because it's the thing we use the most of. Next, we're going to put in a cup of tomato sauce. These are those small 8-ounce cans, and uh, so it's going to take a little bit more than one of them. Not a lot more, but just a little more. Okay. So we've got the sauce in there. We've got the ketchup in there. Now we're going to do our, I'm going to do all my wets first. We're going to use some vinegar, apple cider vinegar, two-thirds of a cup. Yum, yum. Now this is not like your Carolina barbecue sauce to where it tastes a lot like vinegar. I don't like that kind, personally. But it's enough vinegar to make it taste good. And you're also going to add a cup of water. All right, there's all of our wets except for our syrup. And let's see how much syrup it gets. It gets a half a cup of dark syrup. So I'm gonna use the same measuring cup. And we're gonna pour in a half a cup of this dark syrup. Now this is cane syrup. Um, you can use molasses, but it's even a little bit stronger than this. This is pretty strong. Um, if you want to see what brand we use, you can look at the bottle. This is, a lot of them are not pure syrup. They're like cane flavor. You want to make sure and get the real thing. This is made in Montgomery, Alabama. So it's a southern cane syrup and it's a pure cane syrup and now we just get to add all of our delicious spices except for our sugar you're going to use some brown sugar and you're going to put in a whole cup of brown sugar all right we had some uh, syrup i mean we had some brown sugar that was already open so i'm going to use it it's actually dark brown sugar you can use dark or light either one uh, the dark will have a little bit more flavor in it. So we're going to put that in. And now it's time to add the delicious spices. Here we go with the spice. The We have quite a few that are a teaspoon, so we'll start with them, okay? Teaspoon of smoked paprika. Smoked paprika. One teaspoon. Okay. And 
and then you have a teaspoon of salt and my tomato sauce was actually no salt So I think I'm going to put just a tiny bit more in it because of that. Okay. All right. And then black pepper. We're going to use a teaspoon of black pepper. Let me wipe this off before I dip it back down in there. Teaspoon. Now, um, the first time Chris made this, he used coarse black pepper because it actually gives the sauce a pretty look when it's poured out. You know, you got those big pieces of black pepper, but now we're down at the beach in our little mobile home, and so we don't have it here. So if you want to use the coarse black pepper, do that. It looks pretty, okay? Now we're going to put in some cayenne pepper. Uh, first, I got a, a teaspoon of onion powder. So let me wipe off this. And let's get our onion powder. Yummy. I love onion powder. Love it. All right, and then cayenne pepper is a half a teaspoon. Now we're sliding to half with the rest of these. Cayenne pepper half a teaspoon garlic powder we don't have out let me get my garlic powder y'all all right we got a half a teaspoon of garlic powder wipe your little teaspoon off it after each one you don't want to mix them up in their containers all right and the only thing we have left we're going to go down the list we've got ketchup water sauce brown sugar cane syrup apple cider vinegar, smoked paprika, salt, black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, and yellow mustard is the only thing we got left, y'all. And we just put in a teaspoon. It's about right. Now we're going to bring it over here to the stove, mix all that goodness up, and we're going to put it on simmer. Chris is going to actually make hamburgers today, and tomorrow we're going to do some pork chops with this sauce. But you're going to want to whisk it pretty good. Let me get out my whisk. This is a nonstick skillet, so you don't want to put metal against, uh, you know, use a metal utensil. So I've got a silicone spoon and a silicone whisk down here. and. Um, Matter of fact, I think one of my fans gave me this whisk to use down here. I've got several things down here that the fans gave me to use down here at the beach. They're so sweet. And some of them I hadn't heard from in a while. So why don't y'all say, give me a shout out, how about it? Because I want to make sure you're still watching. Betty Mooney was one of them. And I can't remember everybody, but I know she sent quite a few things for me to have down here. She, she, uh, oh, and so did, uh, Mary Mitchell, I think, and quite a few people. I'm sorry if I'm leaving you out, but you know how my brain works if you've been watching me for a while. Uh, now, I've got this mixed pretty good. You want to make sure that mustard's in there good, because it does make little specks in it. Now we're going to simmer it. Y'all, this is the best stuff. So after it comes to a good bubble, make sure you mix it up really good. Get all those spices in there real well so that you don't have clumps of something. Nobody wants, you know, you want all that pepper to be blended into all of it, not just one little part. So make sure that once it comes to a bubble, you get a real good mix with it. Okay, y'all, okay, since we put in a cup of water, it is pretty thin. If you want it to be a little thicker, all you've got to do is turn up your heat. Make sure it's in a nonstick uh, saucepan and let it uh, some of that water boil off of it so just bring it to a uh, boil this is an electric stove and I got it on about a five and it's been boiling for about I guess about eight minutes or so and it's already getting a little bit thicker just thought I'd show y'all that um, so that if you want it to be a little thicker you could do that so we're gonna pour us a coke
we're going to pour up our sauce. Delicious Coca-Cola. Nice barbecue sauce. Get it off of it. I boiled it a little while so it would be a little thick. I'm hoping it will ring my thing. That's a one quart jar, y'all. I think I've just about overfilled it. Woo! Right at the top. Yummy. So it makes a good quart and enough besides the quart to uh, use for the day you make it. Okay? Because we've already barbecued us up some hamburgers on the grill. Chris loves barbecue hamburgers with onions. So we're having a delicious Angus beef hamburger with homemade barbecue sauce. It's going to be delicious in onion. Let's put the lid on this, let it cool down, and you'll be able to keep this in your refrigerator. If it's still hot like this, it would probably even seal, believe it or not, because it's really, really hot. Let it, um, just let it cool down to room temperature. Put it in the refrigerator. It doesn't matter if it's sealed or not. And this should keep very well, um, probably for at least six months. We're going to put a little extra sauce on this burger. Since our jar is full and we got some left. There we go. Yummy goodness. I'm a mustard lover, y'all, so I'm going to put a little extra mustard on mine. And a little lettuce. I'll take a bite. my burger in half every time I just like to I just hate to pick up that big fat burger and stick it in my mouth it's just so big delicious Chris got it done for me if you've never had a barbecue burger you should try it it's a nice change gives you something else to eat with hamburger meat Simple, economic meal. Making your own sauce makes it even better. Thanks for watching Color Valley Cooks, where we're giving you our family secret barbecue recipe.